So it's been almost three months since public masses were suspended uh, here in the Archdiocese of Washington. Um, and then praise God, we're able to start having those masses resume. But there might be a temptation, you know, to kind of get used to this virtual, virtual church, right? Seeing, seeing mass to the screen. And so for that reason, I think that the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ that we celebrate this Sunday comes at quite a providential time. It reminds us of our faith in the Eucharist, the body and blood of Jesus Christ, truly present there, right, under the form of bread and wine. Today's first reading and today's gospel both reference um, manna, right, this, this bread that came down from heaven, but as a prefigurement of the real and true bread from heaven. And what is that bread? Well, as St. Paul tells us in today's second reading, this bread that we break, it's the body of Christ the body of Christ. And that's exactly what Jesus says in today's gospel from St. John's gospel. He tells all all, all of those people who are listening to him, he says, yeah, I am the living bread that that came down from heaven. And you have to eat my flesh, drink my blood to have eternal life within you. That's a very powerful statement, right? And we know that a lot of people leave Jesus because of it. But we're reminded that unless we eat his flesh and drink his blood, we do not have eternal life within us. The Eucharist is not you know, kind of a a pleasantry. It's not just a nice add-on. It's a necessity. And so what a blessing it is for us to be able to participate in that. So this Sunday, you know, this Sunday as we celebrate um, the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, we recognize our need for the Eucharist. Um, We reaffirm our faith in the Eucharist. And we thank Jesus for making himself available to us in the Eucharist. And that's my Sunday game plan for the Feast of Corpus Christi.